this is a crowded room now, so everybody, we gotta pick up our Let's glasses. Cheers. cheers. We've got cheers. Our audience oh, here. This stretch. Oh, this is cheers. my workout. Cheers. 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 And Nicole. Cheers. And Nicole. Cheers. And Nicole. Yay, Nicole. Oh, he's still got his ear button. No, there's only one. <laughs> it's only one. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so, come on. Don't you want to listen to five women talk? Oh, <laughs> good answer. It wasn't a no. It wasn't well, I know. It was I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows that he needs to get a ride home from there. Uh -huh. And Slurpee. Oh, it's been such a good... yes. Oh, you have good, them. Yeah, yeah cheers to you, Nico. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Well, okay. Shana again on the couch with, oh, okay, two lovely ladies. Yes. Anna McGregor. She's from MC College. And we will find out more on what MC College stands for and what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And Amy Einlick who is an up-and-coming fashion designer. Yes! And we'll hear more. This is her parka. I love it. Tabby, Tabby yes. brand. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And of course, well, we couldn't round out the team without uh, the fashionista. Yes. I know. I really do. Yes, Francine, fashion Thank one picks, so yeah. Thank you. This is perfect. <laughs> this is, this is like her dream come true. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all in for me tonight. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with you, Anna. Okay, so a little bit about MC College. I've gotten to know you and gotten a walk through the yeah. college, and it's, uh, let's just say, it's far more than uh, and any expectations of it just being like um, a beauty school, mm, exactly. so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've been in Winnipeg now for about 10 years, started um, with hair and aesthetics. And then about seven years ago, no, actually nine years ago now, we opened the fashion design. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. And that has just boomed. And of course, Amy, a graduate. And we'll hear more about your story. But uh, I guess, Anna, let's, a little bit about the mission statement and I guess the mandate for the college and how Winnipeg has really embraced this college. Well, I think Winnipeg as a whole has recognized that we are the leaders in beauty, aesthetics, and fashion design. Um, we get a lot of great support from, you know, the fashion incubator in Winnipeg, as well as all of the fashion houses that we have, and not to mention the great salon support that we get as well. So MC College, though, I know in Winnipeg has only been for about 10 years or so, but their history is very big. For sure. We have six campuses throughout Western Canada and started 90 years ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's awesome. No. Yeah. Yeah, and you were going to say, imagine that. <laughs> well, imagine what we would have looked like 90 years ago had it not been for MC College. I know. Because right? you're, you're all about the appearance. I know you. It's just all about the appearance, but I know it's important. You. Yeah. Um, okay, so, no, Francine, though, it was really cool because we went to their fashion, fashion show, show back, you know, last year yeah. in the fall, and yeah. I was blown away. You were amazed. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was incredible. It no. keeps getting better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love yeah. it. So yeah. the fashion show and the fashion end of it now, are you seeing that expanding? Oh, for sure. I think there's a lot of opportunity in Winnipeg that people don't even realize. We have so many fashion houses located right in Winnipeg. Uh, houses are expanding even. Canada mm -hmm. Goose has a huge yeah. expansion. Yeah. So I think people don't even realize what we have just mm -hmm. in right our city. Right here. Yeah. Oh, and that's a great segue to, yes, to we coach. don't know what we really have. So <laughs> can I say, and I will say, Canada Goose, Bye bye. Um, <laughs> introduce. Well, well, Abby. well, let's talk about the price point first. I, I know. Oh, well, then you'll really say bye bye. No. Okay, so, Amy, um, you know, let's talk about your story, how you came to MC College, and yeah. where you grew up, where you were born and raised. Rankin Inlet. Yeah, actually, um, I am from Nunavut. I was born and raised. Um, I went to school there, graduated high school there, and then prior to graduating high school, I. Um, I thought I wanted to be a nurse, actually. Mm -hmm. I took pre-nursing. I took a, like a college program where I was like so set on being a nurse. And then um, I met my, um, my friend Victoria, who also is a um, graduate from MC College. So that's where I heard all the good things about MC College. So um, I, that was kind of like where I made my decision to move to Winnipeg and to go to MC College, yeah. And uh, how did parkas <laughs> or, or, or Tabby become born and, and your passion behind that? Before I went to MC College, I, was, uh, I did an internship with Victoria. Mm -hmm. So as I was like taking nursing, I was working part time, helping her out. Like bef before, I was, um, before I started working with Victoria, I've always been creative. Like um, 
part it's part of my culture back home in Nunavut where like everyone sews like everyone like makes like mm. traditional garments um, so like I I knew like how to hand sew make mitts and like mitt <laughs> yeah yeah so it's yes. cold right? so I I came from that kind of background my my mom my grandmother like everyone in my family sewed so like I was taught I, I was taught at a young age how to sew so um kind of coming into like that's where I came into with Victoria like her actually going to school for it like that was pretty unheard of for like people for Inuit back home in Nunavut so like she came back um, from prior gra graduating to MC College and yeah I um, did took an internship and then that's when I realized that like fashion design was where I had to go. Well, it was amazing. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then you know coming to MC College the, the experience there the people I guess what you learned was pretty incredible. And yeah definitely like expanded everything like you know I I knew how to sew, like I knew, but I didn't know how to make patterns. I didn't understand. So like going into MC College, that's, they teach you everything from that. So like you learn kind of like the apparel production, like you learn like kind of like everything you need to know just to start like a small business. Like they just kind of like really guide you like where different areas in a, like in fashion you can go. So um, it's, it's definitely like a great program. Okay, wow. And so your, I guess, <laughs> vision yeah. for this one. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, I, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I love it. Okay, how do you, I, I, I love the neck, neck, even though the neck, there's a the scarf lines. around it too. Like, oh, the sides. Yeah. No, the detail is yeah, amazing. amazing and so simplistic. The, what, I, to tell you how I came about to making this design, like, um, it was after I graduated from high, from um, MC College. I kind of had like opportunities to go to. Um, I went. I was. Um, I had an opportunity to go to a trade show, and prior to coming to the trade show, I had to come up. It was called the Northern Lights Trade Show in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. So um, I kind of had to like come up with a collection and. I had to represent like Nunavut and like everyone back home sews, wow. um, sews amazing garments. So I kind of like how what, how can I modernize like a traditional like um, traditional like Inuit parka and make it more modern. So like this was my take on it. So this is um, so yeah, that's kind of how I started making parkas. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the, the clean lines and the high neck. Yeah, yeah, really so yeah. yeah, the double Max. zipper. Yes, yeah. the double zipper too. So yeah, you, when sorry. it gets a little warm, you can do <laughs> so that. Is that real fur? Yeah, yes. that, is, that is fox fur. Yeah. Fox fur? Okay. And it's kind of the signature too for your parkers, right? Yeah. Is yeah. the fur. Fox. Yes. Is it yes. fox fur or do you use other furs too? Um, I will use finished raccoon. It's really, and that will be like kind of my, I have oh. a... Sorry. She has some samples. I have oh, some I like, so I do custom parkas <laughs> and um, so I have. <laughs> she just brought. Yeah, like, <laughs> so really to like when I when I start out my orders, I kind of like do a custom like you have a selection of like materials to choose from, oh, selection nice. of colors, a selection of zippers. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And you know what, for those uh, of you listening to our podcast, just click on the video and you can see yeah. all of There's this live. So it see is it. so see good. It. Yes, wow. I know. Look I at that. Yeah, so yes. yeah. <laughs> you could really customize how mm -hmm. you would like. And I'm open to um, to sourcing different materials. Like I, It's really like just an experience on how I want to like Beautiful. connect with my customers. That's so. amazing. Wow. Thank you. Is Parka's like the what what you stick to or do you do other fashion as well um, other designs Mostly right parkas, parkas. yeah awesome. jackets right yeah, now jackets. is cool. like but um so my mc college um collection and like kind of like when i went to the trade show i was focusing on like how like everyday wear kind of traditional like right. m like how can i modernize like a traditional mm -hmm. like mixing traditional materials so like seal skin and leathers mm -hmm. or fox furs mm -hmm. and so yeah i kind of 
came about yeah. towards that. And so Victoria, like she had mentioned Victoria, and uh, <laughs> she has found some great kind yeah. of celebrity too as well, she Anna. Really has, yeah. yeah. She's been featured in Elle magazine Canada. She's traveled and had, um, she did Paris Fashion Week last mm -hmm. year, wow. which was yes. a yes. huge yes. thing. Yes. You it's guys got to see her collection at the fashion show. She opened yes. for us. Yeah. Just beautiful and beautiful that she's been recognized for her, for her beautiful work. Oh, I know. And so the collaborating or getting to know Victoria, and now you're your own business, too, I guess, what did she spill off, or what words of wisdom did you garner from, him, from her during that whole experience, apprenticing? Um, definitely, like, my experiences um, prior to, like, going into fashion de design kind of, like, shaped on to where I wanted to go. So, like, mm -hmm. I took my internship um, with her. I, so, like, I did an inter internship before I went to MC College with okay. her, and then also yeah. I, I did, Good. like, an, my... Um, my hours um, after finishing MC College with her. So definitely like just seeing how, like watching her success could have like shaped me as to like the parkas making. She focuses on parkas as well. Mm -hmm. Also, we're really good friends. She just moved here recently. So yes. yeah, like it's, it's, it's really a great thing to talk, like to be close with someone and to like have a connection. Like, you know, we give each other like, you know, advice on like, oh, like we're sewing something. And if like, if there's, if we're having trouble, like, you know, we're making a new prototype and there's like something wrong with it. Well, like just call each other and talk about it. So that would be like, That's great. It, yeah. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Staying over here and it's burning. <laughs> so how, because obviously it's a creative process, right? Mm -hmm. So like how long does it take to come up with like a prototype that you're like, yeah, we want to sell this, we're ready to go. Like how long did it take to get to this point? Um, definitely it's trial and error. Mm -hmm. So I would say a year from now when I just started like going to my trade show, I like I look at that first prototype the first right. garment and it was just like um I know yeah so yeah. I look back at that and think like it's definitely it looks definitely different than the ones that I'm doing now so right. really good. just like People fit things. testing wear testing and like kind of um just that like just because I've been doing it for a year right. at least it it definitely improves right. so Right. Mm -hmm. And it's such like an evolution, right? And I think that like anybody who's listening or watching right now should know that like if you have a passion, like just get started. Like your first one, oh goodness, if we went back to my first business, let's not right. talk about mm -hmm. it. You should see my first pajama <laughs> dress. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like sometimes we're intimidated by that because we think that it has to come out like this our first go around yeah. and it so doesn't. Like yeah. that just is it realistic, right? You yeah, have to exactly. get out there and just try and see what happens yeah. um, and go from there. So thanks for that honesty on that. Yeah. So Anna, yeah, so that spilling off on that question too, dealing with failures or dealing with conflict uh, because you are a college and they, these are students. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of issues too, right, in, in running a college now. Oh, absolutely. I think there's been a change in just the student dynamic over the years as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen a lot of um, mental illness and mental illness awareness in the last three years. Mm -hmm. um, I've been with MC for five years now, and I would say um, at my year three, wow. it was a different, a different yeah. student, a different student body. Wow. So we as a college have... Um, acknowledge that and put things in place for our students. So we have actually an app called My SSP, which is 24 hour around the care counseling for these wow, students. That's amazing. That's amazing. It really yeah. is yeah. to the point where if they um, detect or feel that there is going to be a suicide, they will get an ambulance to that student's door. Wow. So we've mm -hmm. just acknowledge that that is part of, of student experience life these days yes, you know the, and every day too everyone in the world too I think. for sure well, yeah. there's so many yeah. facets wow. not just being a student but there's home there's right. work yeah. there's you know that yeah. balance that yeah. um, is wow. really hard to yeah. do because Amy is young and, and she's a, like one of the demographic but you know MC college it's all different ages and much right, like sure. you mm -hmm. find at universities now but like you said they're not just a full-time student, they're a parent, they're right, exactly. you know, a age, caregiver. Any age, right? There's no age discrimination there, yeah. right? Anyone. Yeah. And just realizing that we're all going through life, yeah. right? Like sometimes I just say, 
It sounds like you're going through a lot of life right now. <laughs> right. Right? That's a nice way to put it. Yeah. You're just going through a lot of life. Through a lot of life. Right um, <laughs> but to have those resources, especially when they're passionate about what they want to Absolutely. create, what they want to do, their career, that's all to advance them. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that can contribute to the stress of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Right? And, and like it is a real. big time investment too, right? The yeah. course, as I've understood, is, is, a, is a heavy workload. Yeah. Right? It, you you, you have to work after class out. hours yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's, it's you know, a way to balance it and not to get overwhelmed and and realize that there are, you know, some of the supports there for you in case you need it. That's Thank great. You. I like that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you will. Yeah. But I really think that when you are in a creative position, an artist, uh, you know, a musician, a fashion designer, a hair, you know, a hairstylist, an mm -hmm. esthetician. It is your work and it's your passion. And if someone doesn't like it, you can't help but take it to, to your heart. Mm -hmm. and, and have you had that, Amy, or ha did that happen to you, or those feelings of angst, like, oh, I hope they like this. <laughs> She's going. <laughs> I like. I know. Probably everything that I make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I remember like when I had my first um, collection and like bef like you know the first um, during like the MC College Fashion Show like the end of the year. I remember like all of that hard work and all of like you know just to display like oh I made this whole collection like it's mm -hmm. and it, it's just a, definitely like a vulnerable vulnerable yeah. like yes. experience yeah, like you're sure. you're showing like yeah. your Yourself. true self and yeah. your yes. like creativity and like kind of like what's in your mind and what yeah. so like definitely like after everything that I make I'm I still have the like oh no I hope that they like it like yeah, I hope it's like you know like <laughs> yeah. I, it's just definitely um you have that in the back set of your mind just because it's 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 showing like exactly who you are and exactly. yeah so now do you think you have enough after a year of doing this that you can go out there and face the world with <laughs> Abby yeah. you know yeah um yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah. I feel more confident yes. than a, a year ago sure. yes. also, yeah the day too yeah. like not everyone is gonna like you know, any, all exactly. eight, right? There's, yeah. there's yeah. every kind of different p person out there that, you know, this will uh, appeal to that person and this will appear to that, appeal to that person. Yeah. So not everyone, and, and that's one thing I think that the students should take away is that not everyone's going to like it. Exactly. And that's okay too. Yeah. As yeah. long as there's one person in the crowd that likes it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, then yeah. it appeals to other demographics. Well, right? even that, as, as much as this is a brand that's right. you know like a fashion brand it's yeah. a personal brand it's an mm -hmm. extension of yeah. you mm -hmm. and sometimes what we do is we really attribute that to us when really and truly it's like yeah it's an extension of me but you know if there's constructive or creative criticism that comes with it like it helps make what you're doing better mm -hmm. right so sometimes it's just being able to look at it and say it's not an attack against me yeah. right. but can this help make me better and help make me more money because i'm always about the bottom line yeah 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 definitely like yeah. yeah definitely like take i i like to take like con constructive criticism on like yeah. you know like if if there's something that you know, like I, I remember the first jacket, like one of the first jackets, I used a different lining and okay. I thought it was, I thought it was, um, you know, warm. And then I had like a customer who like, she loves her jacket and she just lives like further up north. And she mm -hmm. kind of just mentioned and was like, oh, like I love this jacket, but I'm sad to put it away for the cold winter. But you know, she's living in minus 60 degrees just Celsius. Sweater. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, so. I couldn't even deal with minus 50, I layer, right? I layer, I always layer. You guys, yeah. my car last year, December, at minus 50 was like, I don't think I'm working this week. <laughs> <laughs> so I could not imagine being a human saying. Plug, plug in the jacket, OK? I want to go outside. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> So no, I like I try yeah. to take the you know the and that's what made Geography me like change. Too, where you're, you're yeah, like your goods, that's right? what made me change mm -hmm. my lining. Like yeah. it's way it's a lot warmer. Like mm -hmm. I I took that criticism back and I was like, how can I make this product better for you know my other audience of who are, who may be people like further up north right. where you know it is minus sixty <laughs> and like hopefully they could wear it to their car. Yeah. So, so are your jackets just for women? Are they for men? Ooh, are they for question. children? <laughs> Right now, um, I definitely want to expand into like, you know, 
I made a men's jacket. Um, I made a custom jacket for one of my friends, and that's kind of what like brought me into like the menswear. Mm. But um, right now, my focus is on women's. Okay. I would love to expand it to menswear. I'm very inspired by menswear, yeah. so mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. really it's yeah. so hot in the market, right? Because yeah. quite frankly, there's not a lot of like good fashion for men. Let's mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Y'all out starting, there looking yeah. the same, <laughs> <laughs> right? Great. So yeah. it's it's there's definitely a market for it. But I was just curious because I'm, you know, we're relocating from Miami to uh, St. Louis and it's a little, well, it's not it's chilly here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm climatized yeah. now, guys. Yeah. I'm, this is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold when it was plus one here the other day. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so, but it, it's nice to know at least, right? But every single woman needs one of these in her wardrobe. So, um, <laughs> yeah. all the way. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> So getting back, so Anna's just been sitting here listening to everybody, you know, she's loving it enjoying now. Yeah, yes. enjoying the wine. Um, so going back to the fashion show, uh, yes, yeah. well, we were blown away and um, I just would like an outlet for these young designers. Agreed. Like a pop-up, like, mm -hmm. let's do a pop-up at MC College great. right mm -hmm. after yeah. the fashion show mm -hmm. because there was so many outfits were going, okay, I like that yeah. one, I like that one, I, I like that yeah. And yeah. what I loved it was like fashion that you could see yourself wearing, wearing. like not yeah. some crazy right. out, out there, there thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, and yeah. I don't know what the mandate or what the, you know, the inspiration is that comes from these individual designers that are obviously being taught at MC. Well, quite honestly, we have thought about that year after year, and we've always tried to incorporate a little pop-up within the fashion show, mm -hmm. but I have to take full responsibility for that when it gets to October, and it's like, there's no more time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely a thought, and it's something that, you know, I would love to do in the future. Um, mm -hmm. You know, with keeping with Third and Bird and all of the wonderful markets that we have in the city, mm -hmm. yeah. it would be great exposure for MC to do yeah. something okay. in-house. Yeah, yeah. in-house, and then yeah. an extend it too, because, right, they do have fashion, but it's the aesthetics it, it is you know right. the hairstyling too that are, they're also talented I mean it was a chance for you know ladies to come in and get their hair done and their makeup and then do some shopping and I think it would be just that you know wonder even if it's custom order and it's not ready yeah. on the rack right. and you yeah. or, you know yeah. take your measurements right there on the spot and you yeah. pick your like you with the swatches right <laughs> whoever can't <laughs> see but like yeah. choose this color choose that and well I think more and more people are There's wanting to choose you know, shop local, local. Yeah. right? Sure. Absolutely. Um, and celebrate other women mm -hmm. and be able to really say like, hey, there's a story, right? So when I go yeah. to whatever store that will rename nameless <laughs> <laughs> to shop, because it doesn't matter right now, right. Um, you know, like there, I don't know the story that comes behind exactly. that. That's mass production, so true, right? right? Yeah. But yeah. here I'm, I'm like, I just learned something and there's like community, there's heritage, there's tradition yeah. behind this and it's yeah. fashionable yeah. on top of it. And delayed <laughs> gratification feels good. Like yeah. even when I order muck you don't get them tomorrow. Yeah. You've got to wait. You pick out your colors. So I, I think that there's... Yeah. And you know that they're made with love and care and attention. Exactly. You know? And for and you. Just for you. Yes. Because I need custom in my life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Most of us do. <laughs> And yeah. Anna, you were just recently in Toronto and you got to meet another big success story Ooh. from MC College. So Sid Nigam, he's a graduate from our fashion program in Edmonton and the loveliest man I've honestly ever met. Um, he has been our biggest success story for MC. Okay. He has traveled through Dubai. He did London Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he's done New York. He's done uh, Vogue Italia, Bazaar. Wow. Mm -hmm. He has um, suited people like Lord. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of celebrities now. He's really um, won many, many awards and just the sweetest man. Um, we <laughs> are actually going to send one of our recent grads out to him for internship this wow. year. So wow. I'm really looking forward wow. to that. So let's talk about this like internship. So yeah. Amy, you did yours with Victoria. So it's really cool. Like the, they get to do, right. you know, spend some time with the professionals. And right. I think building relationships is so important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They get an opportunity to, um, they actually do a report or an assignment that they send in to me um, of where they see themselves, what, where their brand takes them, what, um, who they can emulate and get uh, mentorship from. So they can choose, you know, anyone really within Canada. Some people have even gone to Paris for internships. It's whatever they can um, see themselves in the Doing. future mm -hmm. being mentored by. 
That's yeah. beautiful, really. That's because really allowing them to make their decision, right? Instead Absolutely. of the college, okay, right. you're going here, here because we have a deal right. with yeah, so such and, and such so or so and, and so. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't wow. can't put you you fashion designers in a cookie box and make no. you do the same cookie cutter stuff. So right? then, question: So the recent graduate that got paired with Sig is it a, a, a similar aesthetic? Like, is it yeah? Similar work ethic, aesthetic, okay. design. Um, okay. We feel that the two would be really paired well together, awesome. and I'm really looking forward to make that happen for yeah. him. I can't oh. wait to follow that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I have another question. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yes. Where where does the name Tavi come from? What does it mean? Like what cool. what's the story behind that? I'm glad you asked that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was not paid to ask this question. That was coming later. <laughs> I know, but I won't say anything. So actually, um, that ties into my cultural background. Mm -hmm. So um, I I am Inuit from Nunavut. I um, so part of your culture cult part of the the culture is that you are named after someone mm -hmm. so okay. and it's actually yeah. pr it's pronounced tubby which is tubby. yeah mm -hmm. you guys can pronounce Sorry. it anyway no no no. <laughs> honestly it's like either okay, way hold it's, on. yeah no we have to get it right so <laughs> tubby. 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 tubby tubby yeah like lovey but tubby. Lovey, tubby, tubby. <laughs> so um so yeah i was named after um my dad's Aunt, mm -hmm. and um, so you kind of like you get um, my grandparents named after named me that wow. and um, mm. so that ties into my um, my name yes. this is my brand yes. so like a brand is like kind of like the name of a like a, the identity of a product or of a company mm -hmm. and yeah. I chose to use my um, my Institute name to represent this is this is my yeah, style. Yeah, this is who yeah. I am. This is the products that I'll, that I like offer to you. So that's how um, I chose to be. <laughs> I'm just so yeah. proud of you. We need to celebrate culture. We need to celebrate individualism. We need to celebrate young heritage, young women, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. entrepreneurs, yeah. business owners. Just yeah. congratulations. This is amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't really. I don't get asked that qu question a lot, so a lot of people just assume that I like made it up or something. Yeah. But like, yeah. no, it, it actually yeah. means it something. Mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Well, yes. I mean, yeah. Another perfect success story, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. Really, yeah. <laughs> I like that. And this is actually very kind of interesting too. It all ties in because of the brand new Inuit Art Center. Mm being built for the right. Winnipeg Art Gallery mm -hmm. and it's a huge thing and I know it's about artists and I know it's about everything else but I would love to include women like Amy and Victoria to showcase what you do and encourage mm -hmm. other you know whether it's Inuit women or Indigenous women yeah. but you know any young woman that wants to follow their passion. So your story has been really important, Amy. Yeah. yeah. So happy. Congrats. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. No. no. Oh, where you know do what? we buy these? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Online. That's how they. It's yeah, online. I know. It's, it's online. online. Yeah. You know. The people have to know. Okay. Yes. Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Instagram. Yes. 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 Tavi.com. Um, you could follow my Instagram. Instagram. I don't have my website Can up yet. Can you spell Tavi, please? It is T A V V I. Perfect. Perfect. The brand. Instagram, the next best thing to Facebook yeah. and marketing. I know marketing. <laughs> Ask Shana. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, so Thanks, Thanks, Anna, for coming. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Sure. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.